Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of, of a sort of lab on a chip or a microfluidics demonstration. So what I'm going to do is, um, at the heart of this, we have a um, ZP sensor. This is actually a row of 13 ZP sensors, but we've just taken one of these and put it into a little flow cell. So if you just come in, we have it um, at the, basically this is the electrical connect connection in. In the middle of this, there's a ZP sensor. And what I'm going to do is do a sort of two-step process. So the idea with this is, if somebody has a, a sample or an analyte type that's something like a protein, something like a DNA, something like a microbe, um, they will be able to add that to the um, sensor. So I'll use the blue dye to kind of show that off a bit. So what happens here is you have a sample and you push it. If you come in, you'll be able to see the liquid front. And what's happening here is I'm pushing the um, sample onto the sensor. And because it's blue dye, I can see it coming out. So there's my um, sample on the sensor. So I'll leave that, let's say, incubating or reacting for some time. I'll use the next one now to actually, what this is, this is, will then be the wash step and the reporting molecule. And if you've got any questions about that, just contact us. But I will bring that here, and then I will push that. And that's what I'm doing here. And then I'll leave that like that. So if I was going to summarize what I've done here, I do have one of our ZP sensors, just one of these, not the whole row of 13, but I have one of them in here. The cable is making an electrical connection, and I'll just bring in the... Um, let's say the potentiostat, so we have a potentiostat involved. And what I've shown you here is we have a way of bringing a sample to the sensor, and we expect there to be kind of like a wash, not a wash step, but an incubation step, where something like an, anti, um, an antibody is capturing the other molecule. And then I use the second syringe to bring in what is a wash, to wash away all the non-specific binding, but also to bring in the reporter molecule. So that's a very nice way of doing um, assay development, which is more like an ELISA um, type assay. And so you can get that from Zimmer and Peacock. So thanks very much.